Welcome back to Space Engineers, Starboat 96. My name is Mrs. Christina Blair. As the executive officer, I am surveying the damage of this pirate base. Since Carrie's gravity is so light, I am having a bit of fun as well as enjoying a little parkour. Here up on the roof, this sky is beautiful. However, it is really dark. Looking around in this building, there is a lot of red wood. These pirates must be living large, as this material must be very expensive. Wow! Looks like the captain did a number on this vehicle. Fortunately, the ice used for life support is nearby for me to use. Now that I found ice, let's start building a life support station before my suit's supplies run out. I think I can make this jump. The assembler has all the parts I need, so here I go. I could have landed better, but you know. <laughs> At least on the second jump, I didn't embarrass myself in front of that bob drone. In order to move this survival kit over to this station, I'm going to need a couple of conveyor pipes. There is a lot of them lying around fortunately, so this task should be a breeze. You can see how light the gravity really is in carries. One thing that never seems to get lighter is the medical components found in a survival kit. So making several trips in order to move it over, wow. In the briefing, the captain asked for me to find the Jupiter that he crashed into the large crater. When I find the Jupiter, I call in a crew member who drops in from low orbit. As his superior officer, I let him know the importance of his task to guard the Jupiter as there may be classified information on board. My suit is almost out of life support, so I'll have to book it back to get a refill. Yes! That's so much better. I was sweating there for a moment. Now, for the last piece of equipment. The parts I need are on the other side of this wall. Let's see if I can land this jump. Oh yeah! Perfect landing with a 180. Now that the nanobite control module is complete, I can call in the crew to sort the rest of this mess out. Certainly, the Bob Bot is enjoying itself here. I am gonna mosey on back to the ship and report to the captain that the progress is underway. Hello, I am the other narrator for this episode, Mr. Raymond Blair. 
And I must tell you, with all the action in the last two episodes, my body is sore. I tried talking to crew person John Marston in the galley during breakfast, but he is still upset about Duke. During the beginning of shift briefing, I become upset as well. Turns out micro fractures in the hydrogen tanks leaked out a majority of our fuel. Neither Lieutenant Lopez, Ensign Chong, nor Petty Officer Willow thought to turn on the nanobite control unit, which is the NCU. So I asked crew person Samuels to assist me in a physical inspection of the starboat's integrity. Aside from my periscope, a 40mm quad turreted bank, and 125mm quad turreted bank, the Sturbo is in good order. Thank you, crew person Samuels, for the assist. Back on the bridge, I turn on the projector repair and NCU modules so that repairs can get started right away. is a lovely time to finish that graded catwalk project I have been wanting to do for a while now. Standing on top of my new periscope, a lot of radio spam appears on my helmet's HUD. It turns out, the old Jenny is finished salvaging the pirate vessels and is now arriving to work on the planetary base. My helmet magnification is pretty good, but I really wish I had my binoculars. However, I lost them somewhere and I will have to look for them at a later date. On my way to rendezvous with the Jenny, I think I will stop and salvage the Jupiter I wrecked in that crater. Even though the Starbo is currently at 11,000 tons mass, the gravity it carries is too weak to pull it down. It is a very rare sight indeed to see the starboat so close to a planetary surface. And there she is, the Mark V. You served me well, and even kept me alive when confronted with a 200 millimeter rocket. Sadly, now, you're just scrap. Such is the impermanence of life. Now that the starboat has rendezvoused with the Jenny, 
I think it is time for a more thorough inspection of the civilian vessel. Right away, I have to EVA to her gangplank, as she is not equipped with proper docking equipment. How long is this ladder? And why? There is no rail to prevent them from falling 20 meters. It is the lack of railing at the end of this platform that is the problem. And of course, there is this huge, rusty, nuclear reactor sitting between two jump drives right behind the quote-unquote bridge area. I could go on all day, but I sit down with the ship's engineer chief and lay out my concerns. Clearly, he needs help, as he looks as old as the vessel. I guess I'm just going to have to get to work. I must say that between the duct tape and the bailing wire, a lot of questionable shortcuts are taken as well within the Jenny superstructure. I do not have the skill to do much about this reactor, but a couple of programs should regulate this veritable bomb a little better. So I see that the old engineer has not accomplished much and I'm not surprised. Hey, buddy, I know how you feel, but that tool won't fix the Clan Cola machine. After some effort, the much needed improvements to the Jenny are done. I am excited to try out the new docking platform. Well, that was a lot of sparks. Better get down there for a physical inspection. Well, would you look at that? Not bad, not bad at all. I know, the gangplank is quite the chute and ladders. But from what it was before, this is like walking in the park. I am really proud of what has been accomplished. It is always my tendency to try and make life better for civilians. In her report, my executive officer stated that a crew person literally jumped to the surface from low orbit. I, for one, am not going to be outdone by a member of my crew. I must do this. At the end of this ladder, there is no going back. Geronimo! I think I'm going a little bit faster than I would like to be. Oh? Well, that wasn't bad at all. Hey, did you see that? I did the drop. <laughs> okay, okay, don't make fun of how I look coming down. And with this, we are at the end of the episode. Please take care.